Hey everyone, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are. As you can see behind me, uh, it's, good. it's like a rain cloud, huge rain cloud. And it's gonna start raining soon. And so it's really humid. And you know how the tropical rain is? You know, it gets really, really, really quiet all of a sudden. And then the wind blows really, really fast. And then you know that the rain is coming. And obviously you can tell behind me, like, you know, the clouds are really intense. I wanted to speak to you guys in this video about how awakening and like spirituality and all that stuff I've been speaking a lot about it with a lot of different people and I've been realizing that there is a lot of a sort of prejudice against people who are too spiritual I've heard that a lot from a lot of different people they're like no it's good if you're spiritual that's great uh, just don't be too spiritual and it also always was really funny to me because I've seen so many comments and posts from people as well who make fun of the ultra hippies and I, I'm pretty sure you've seen like YouTube videos from this guy, the ultra spiritual guy and he makes fun of the really really spiritual people and these are the people you know who like believe in angels and they're like channeling all these mediums and they're talking about like doomsday and they're you know they're talking about a lot of really interesting things I find them interesting because I always come from the perspective that I don't know everything. Actually, I know nothing. The more I realize, the, the older I get is that I know nothing. I know nothing. And so if this person thinks that they're channeling some kind of medium, then they're channeling some kind of medium, right? I can't really doubt them. I can't say, no, you're not, because I don't know what, what it is like to channel anything. And I don't know all the different intricacies of this universe. I don't know everything about it. I know nothing and so how can I judge and how can I say that that person is wrong or I'm right or they're right or who's right I don't know who's right I'm not God and I haven't spoken to God so if they're saying yeah you know I've done this then I'll say okay cool you know, then I believe them I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna give them a million dollars to help me talk to my grandmother or anything obviously I'm not at that point yet um, but I don't discount them and I don't I don't like making fun of them I don't like it when people make fun of people like them because they don't understand them They're making fun of them because they're afraid. They're not making fun of them because it's actually funny It's because there's fear in there because there's fear because they're they're thinking to themselves What if it's actually true? What if what they're saying is true? And then that creates a whole new scenario of things that we need to learn about, things that we need to know that we're not privy to, things that are all around us that we're not aware of, right? If they are actually talking to ghosts, that means there are ghosts around us all the time. And that's another layer of thing that you have to kind of worry about, ghosts. <laughs> um, it's better to just make fun of that situation and to say, oh, no, it doesn't exist, you know? Don't worry about it, you don't have to think about it because it doesn't exist, because I've said so because I'm the ultimate authority in knowing what's around because I know everything that's going on on this planet, right? Obviously that's not true, we don't know anything. We can barely see the whole spectrum of the UV ray uh, of, the, of light. Of, we can't hear all the sounds and noises that are out there, we don't know anything. We're very limited in our senses and our being. And so when someone says something that you don't understand or you don't, don't think it's possible, don't discount it and don't make fun of them because that's unless you're doing it as a parody that's totally fine but do not do that to that person because it's their belief system and it's important to them probably that's the reason they're speaking about it and it takes a lot of courage to speak about these things because most people know that they're gonna be made fun of so the fact that they're actually speaking up about it shows that they have a lot of courage so give them that benefit of the doubt huh? just give it to them just I know my, my first instinct is always to judge, but I'm really trying nowadays not to judge and to say, okay, I don't know everything that's out there. Perhaps that is true. I don't know if it is or not. I'm not going to judge you for it. I'm not going to make fun of you for it. I'm going to try as much as possible to keep my mind open as much as possible. Of course, that's, you know, has varying degrees. and. It, on different days I can do the, I can do better on some days some days I'm really crappy at it so I'm doing the best as I, I can as they are as everyone else is obviously right but all I want to say is the next time you meet someone like that just try not to judge them I know it's very difficult I totally understand 
And you guys can see around me, it's kind of getting darker, which means the rain is coming. Um, I know it's hard not to judge, right? And so it's a practice, like everything else we do, just like these videos that I do on a daily basis. I'm doing them on a daily basis because I want to practice. I want to get better at it, right? And so the same thing with being non-judgmental. Like just practice at it. Just try to keep your mind a little bit more open than you normally would. Because who knows, you might perhaps learn something that you never learned before. If I hadn't kept my mind open to meditation, I would never have entered this realm of learning and understanding that I am in right now, right? And I did that, I'm doing that now because I kept my mind open. If I hadn't, I would still be back there where I was before. And so that's what happens when you keep your mind open. You don't know what is true. We don't know anything, guys. And we don't know what's true and what's not true. So try and keep your mind open to everything. It doesn't mean they believe everything. Just keep your mind open. Try to understand and kind of look at it from their viewpoint. It's the most important thing that I could say right now. The rain is coming, as I said. I wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of it. Forgive me if it's really choppy so you guys can see yeah you can see all the clouds and then that's the mountain behind me and then all the clouds above around and that's Chiang Mai and it's gonna rain soon as I said so I am gonna say are you are you Darche? I'm gonna say goodbye and I'll talk to you guys the next time around if you guys are interested in joining my team on patreon you can do that at patreon.com slash boom shaka. Bye for now.